Hey guys, welcome to a simple tutorial on uh, Premiere and After Effects editing. Uh, I'm going to show you syncing and a little slow motion. So, first thing you want to do is import your clips. I just have one clip and some music for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, now what you want to do is make a sequence which works like an After Effects composition. You can make your own preset by going to settings and save the preset and it will save all of this so you just click and go really nice but I'm just going to show you what I use uh, make sure you set this to custom uh, 29.97 1280 by 720 basically this is the big one right here and the frame rate the rest of these are kind of personal preference I find this to be optimal so you can do whatever you want and hit ok when you're done with that and you have a sequence drop your music into audio 2 usually you can put it wherever you want, but I work with an audio 2 because then I can do gun sounds in audio 1 and keeps it simple. Okay, so I'm going to twirl on audio 2 so I can find the drop, which I know is right there because I love this song. Okay, so I'm going to do Alt Scroll to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is place some markers on the beats so that I can sync, you know, this thing will auto snap to markers so uh, that I can cut it up and sync pieces. But you'll get what I mean in a bit. Alright, so to create a marker, you can either click here or hit M. I like to just hit M. Uh, basically, my technique for finding the beats is just play through and hit M on the beat. Draw on the keyboard. Works pretty good. Uh, I'm going to start off by, I can see on the waveform where I want this to be, so I'm going to put one right there, because I want to start my clip there, and I'm going to just go through and put the beats in. thing I want to do is I want to trim the clip properly. Usually recordings will have crap on the end that you don't want. You have to trim that off. And I want to start it right on this first marker. Okay, so I want to cut off him dying. So I'm going to use frame by frame to get the exact spot where it actually starts. Okay, right there. So, go to the end here and drag that over. And then grab the whole thing and line it up with that marker. Okay, so it starts perfectly where I want it to. Um, now to actually sync the shots to the beat, what we need to go th need to do is go through the razor tool and cut it. So razor tool is up here. Um, shortcut C, and the regular tool for moving stuff is V. So they're right next to each other, which is really helpful for quick editing. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit and twirl down the gun sound. So like you can see a few places where there'll be gunshots in here and stuff. So what I'm going to do is select your razor tool and go through, find the gunshots, and cut the clip on the gunshots. You can use your best judgment based on the waveform and you know what's actually happening. The audio and video won't always be synced. Sometimes you might not be able to just do this. You might have to fix the audio and then do the cuts. But just be careful. Make sure the audio is on before you start cutting your clip. Okay, so I have a clip cut up just the way I want it. And uh, now we're going to use the, uh, right here, rate stretch tool. 
which is right next to the other other shortcut keys too. With X, B, C, and X are the, pretty much the main editing tools. Other people might use other stuff, but I honestly only use these three, 100% of the time. I swear to God. So, X rate stretch, which will allow you to actually stretch out clips instead of like expand them. You can you can stretch them out and make them longer or shorter, which affects the time, of course, which is the whole point of using. So, uh, I want to start by moving. Like this is where the gunshot is, so I want to move it to the nearest marker. So I did that. Make sure you select all of these. Oh, you don't want to start you know, overwriting video and stuff. And then you switch, you hit X, switch to the rate stretch tool, and pull that over. Oh, wait, I forgot one step. Go do the whole thing on length first so that you don't stretch the audio. If you stretch the audio, uh, things will start to sound weird, and you, trust me, you don't want to deal with that. That's no fun. So there, one shot is sync. I'm going to go through and do these. Okay, in this case, I actually have to drag it back a little bit. So what you can do there is you rate stretch this back to the mark. I'll get that out of there. So there, and then you just grab all this and let it clip over the little bit of the audio. That's okay as long as the gunshot clips off the other thing. Whoa! Huh? What the glitch is it? Never mind. So yeah, just be careful what you what you cut over. You gotta always do it the right way. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little different here on the last shot because I want to put some slow motion in. I'm going to pick another beat. There, there's a, uh, let me get that a little more accurate. No, it's right in the middle. There's a nice drum beat right there. The shot's already almost lined up. Oh, I get the too. So I'm going to do that. Then uh, all the shots are synced. So what I usually want to do after I finish syncing is preview it. Enter is the shortcut for previewing. You can also click up here somewhere, yeah, sequence and render effects or entire work area. I just hit enter. Quick and quick and easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do some slow motion. This is fully fully synced. I'll play it through. Well actually I'll play it through at the end because it might lag with my recording and stuff. Alright, so, I want to do a little slow motion before he quick scopes this guy right here. Like, right, like, right here, I want to slow that part down. So I'm going to find the exact spot where I, where I want to start my slow motion, which I'm going to call it right there. And I'm going to zoom in for this bit so I get nice and accurate. And I'm going to do rate stretch and pull it over that beat because that's where I, I want my slow motion to actually start. And then I need to cut a little, go forward a couple frames and make another cut. And this is this is a little part that I'm going to stretch out, and it's going to be it's going to be the slow motion. So I'm going to pull that over a little bit so it snaps in right after the slow mo. Snaps in and shoots real quick. And you zoom right in, and you can just stretch this right into the gap, and you will get something like this. And you can see this right here that I stretched out is pretty laggy. I'm going to show you how to fix that too. So I right click and do replace with After Effects composition. Um, and if you don't have a composition open or something, it will ask you to save a project. On if you have a black screen and you're at the beginning, okay, fix that little black thing because you'll you'll notice it. Um, do time, enable time remapping, and put a keyframe there, and a keyframe at the end, and then I'm going to pull that keyframe over. So, basically to uh, turn on frame blending, you just want to toggle it here, this activates it, and then for the layer, this is like, you know, uh, nasty frame blending, you know, I don't use that. Uh, pretty much always use pixel motion, so I'm going to render that. I already rendered correctly the thing when I was playing through. Okay, so there it is, nice and nice and smooth. And you can immediately just go right back to Premiere. And there it is. All the gunshots are synced, and I got some nice clean slow motion. So 
don't forget, after, especially after you do After Effects stuff, you want to do a preview again. Okay, guys, so that's it. Um, leave questions in the comments below. I will answer. I can't, well, I can't promise, but I will try if there's a lot of comments. Um, so please leave a like, and I hope you learned something. What the fuck did I just do that for?